Hey guys, this is how we do it. I'm here by myself, so I'm gonna be trying recording and cooking at the same time. I'm usually the camera girl, uh, but Todd is out and fishing. Uh, my kids are hungry, and we decide we gonna make some Polish breakfast. It's uh, three ingredients, very simple. Mm, potatoes, eggs, and bacon. Uh, we're using fresh potatoes. I just uh, boiled some. I'm gonna use uh, about one um, fourth of the bacon package and a um, few eggs depends on kids how many they can eat today. So let's move on and I'm gonna show you step by step what I did. So boil potatoes first and I'm gonna mash them and we'll be right back. Okay, taters are mashed. Um, you want to set up my bacon on the pan and start cooking slowly. Um, I'm going to add some butter to my mashed potatoes because we like them um, with butter. Tasty. And if we don't use everything for the breakfast, we can use those taters later. Also, for um, other people who already have potatoes for dinner or the day before and they save the mashed potatoes, it's a great dish to reuse your potatoes for breakfast next day. This dish in my family we eat any time of the day. Depends when kids request it. So it's a kind of breakfast food but can be eaten at any time of the day. So I'm gonna mix my butter in it and check on my bacon, flip it and I'll be right back. Hey guys, bacon is frying. I started at high when the pan got hot I turned down to medium. Um, we're doing everything fresh today, but this dish is great to use leftover mashed potatoes you have from dinner. Um, maybe leftover bacon from the time you b uh, cook bacon. Uh, you can save it and just reuse the next day for this dish. You would just um, cut it very small pieces. Uh, I'm going to show you other ways. We also do it a lot of the time. Uh, my kids are hungry and don't have a bacon, so we buy um, real bacon bits from Kroger's. This is how they look and you can also add those to your potatoes or like I said you can just save your bacon and um, reuse it. Just make sure the next day um, you, you cut it very small and do not fry again if you have a fried bacon because it will be too crunchy, maybe even too hard for your kids or yourself to eat. So we're doing everything fresh today, just how my kids like it. If I have time I do it, if we don't, like I said we use leftovers. My bacon looks done. I'm gonna take it off of the pan so it doesn't overcook. I will put on a paper napkin on the side so kind of strain the extra grease so I don't burn myself when I'm cutting it. And the bacon grease we have in our pan, I'm saving it. Normally, if I don't eat the dish I'm making right now, I will save the bacon grease in a nice jar. For any other time, we need some bacon grease, but today. We want all the yummy flavor and bacon is cooling down. I'm gonna scoop some potatoes in the bacon, mix it very well. Okay, so at this point I have my bacon grease here with my potatoes. Like I said, if you had a leftover bacon, you could already add the chunks to it. And if they are not crispy, cut by if they're crispy, you wanna mix the bacon grease first, then you add the chunks to it. This is what we're gonna do right now. We will add my bacon. I'm gonna just chop it up in small pieces and mix it into my potatoes. Okay, some of the bacon I chopped up and mix it in my potatoes. Uh, my son also reminded me to explain it to you guys. Then um, I cook my bacon in full pieces just because um, my daughter doesn't like the bacon in her potatoes. So I cook um, some bacon on the side. I chopped up some to put in my potatoes and a few pieces I'm gonna put on her plate. There you go. So she can have just bacon potatoes with the bacon flavor grease and some bacon and egg on the side. That's how she likes her. So now we're going to move into the next step. We're going to put this aside so it doesn't get too hot and burn and we're going to fry some eggs. So we start off and on high. We're going to put some butter. I'm going to turn it down to medium. So we'll make sure the egg doesn't stick but we also don't want to burn the egg. Sebastian's already waiting for his breakfast. So Sebastian, how you like your eggs? Okay, so like over easy, some people call it. The white is totally done, but the yolk is nice and juicy, nice and soft. We always spice up our egg a little bit, a little pepper, a little salt. Okay, when you're cooking over easy eggs, medium, sunny up, 
you gotta make sure that you break the white part so it cooks evenly I'm gonna move them around a little bit make sure nothing sticks so if your egg doesn't slide it means it's uh, either not done or it's sticking so I'm gonna move it around a little bit to make sure yeah it's looking better okay those cook really quick I'm gonna rinse my special real quick the last time I'm gonna wet my egg for a minute in the meanwhile I'm gonna get a plate for him and scoop up some potatoes okay he likes his egg on top of the potatoes so we're gonna make a nice scoop like this. Okay, the eggs already making noise and like they're done. Yeah, the outside looks done. Flip the egg, you gotta make sure the egg is not sticking. If it's sticking, put a little scoop at the bottom. Mine is moving pretty good, so. Oh, there you go. He likes his sides a little crispy, so the egg looks like that on this side. The white gonna have a nice and yummy flavor. You gotta make sure it doesn't stick very gently because he wants the white totally done, but he likes the yolk still soft. Okay, you guys, this is how my son likes his eggs, right on top of a bed of potato. Oh, look at the yolk. That is amazing. All right, and this is uh, how we do it. This is a baking potato egg breakfast. We eat any time of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Take care.